Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and the least dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Uh, Woo! Party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Garbage is that. Slide over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. My mom doesn't even go into my room anymore. She's totally oblivious. Kirsten, you're a genius. Jody, you want one? Yeah, cool, sure. <coughs> hey, don't choke on it. I bet it's your first time. No, I've had some before. <laughs> of course you had. Time, huh? <coughs> it got me that way too. <coughs> It's 
call it her. <laughs> I think I've had enough. You okay, Jody? You're acting kind of weird. Hey, pale face. You sure you feel all right? You're not looking too hot, Jody. <laughs> You look kind of scary like that. <laughs> you okay, Jody? I know what you're thinking. You're wondering why we're here. I'm thinking the same thing. I know, you told me. I just wanted to see what it would be like to go out and, and have friends. This is not what I expected. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. Right. Because I sure do remember fighting you around before. So, you work with Kirsten's mother? Yeah. We work in the in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age, so uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? New York. Oh, man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get, and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and you, what, what are you into? Nothing special. I read a lot. Boring, <laughs> I guess. Can I... Can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I sort of... I have a gift. A link with an entity. An entity? You mean... You mean a ghost or something like that? Well, this is gonna sound... Really crazy, but it's kind of like a like an invisible presence that follows me. Is it uh, is it here now? I'm kidding. 
Okay. <laughs> oh shit, you, you really got me going there. I, mean, I was thinking you were completely nuts or something. <laughs> oh, slow dance. Are you, you up for it? Sure. You know, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know? You're not so bad looking yourself. You're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. I think you're pretty special, too. with you but do I want to guys guys why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers <laughs> no great no, idea no, I, I'd pay to see that uh, forget it it's just a little bull yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. You up for demonstration? No, no, no. I, I, I don't have, I don't have powers. <laughs> I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right. Okay, guys. It's time to eat that delicious cake, and most important, to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> my future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening. Begging for it. Oh. And she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should like... Do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. <laughs> Please! Stop! Stop! Oh, mistress of the obscure darkness! Let me go! Bring forth your mighty power! <laughs> <laughs> please! Please! Let me no, out! the first moment I saw I'm her. begging you! Please! Let me out! Please! Did someone say cake? Please! Yeah, all this excitement out. is making me Please! Crazy. I want to get out! I'm Get me 
out of here! Please! Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him from me? if I take a look? So, 
this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him to do something? You tell him what to do, and it happens. I don't tell Adam what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave, too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No, that was the monsters. your room. This is where you'll study and sleep for the next three years. Your training starts tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. Come on, Holmes! Keep up! your grip. Use your momentum to swing across. Hurry! That's it, Holmes. Come on. I haven't got all day. Take cover. Aim, shoot! 
Advance to the next cup. Got it? Excellent, Jody. Okay, recruit. Now get rid of those oil drums. Keep going. Shut it down, Holmes, now! Crisis, he's gonna kill him! Enough, Raiden! I'm okay. Explain to me the thing that this is a training session. He's not supposed to kill anyone. I don't tell him what to do. He's a wild animal. He's not someone's fucking pet. If someone hurts me, he's gonna hurt them. We will continue tomorrow. Sunday stroll!
That bad. You shot? Come on, start again! Not bad, Jody. 
And if this wasn't an exercise, you'd be dead by now. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth, Ryan. <laughs> Congratulations, Operative Holmes. You made it. Welcome to the agency. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jody. Welcome to the agency. Looks like you Great made job, it. Great job, Jody. Congratulations. Brilliant.